Decreased cardiac output and blood volume stimulate the kidney to release renin enzyme into circulation. Then the angiotensinogen protein produced by the liver and released into circulation is degraded by renin enzyme into angiotensin 1. The angiotensin converting enzyme is produced by the lung and released into circulation. To degrade the angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 has many biological effects. It directly induces vasoconstriction. It stimulates the secretion of aldosterone hormone from the adrenal glands. Aldosterone in turn stimulates the nephrons to reabsorb sodium and water from renal tubules back to the circulation. In exchange with potassium ions that will be excreted with urine. Both vasoconstriction and increased blood volume will increase the blood pressure. Now I will briefly illustrate the renin-angiotensin system inhibitors, such as angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors, angiotensin receptor blockers and renin inhibitors. Angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors abbreviated as ACEI will interfere with angiotensin-converting enzymes' activities and inhibit the production of angiotensin II. Decreased angiotensin II levels will induce vasodilation. Similarly, the aldosterone secretion will be suppressed and as a result more sodium and water will be excreted into the urine. Both vasodilation and decreased blood volume will result in decreasing blood pressure. ACE inhibitors drugs include captopril, enalapril, and ramipril. And as you can see all the drugs in this group are ended with suffix pril. Naturally, Angiotensin-converting enzyme produced and secreted by the lung degrades the bradykinin molecules into inactive metabolites. The ACE inhibitors interfere with this degradation process and as a result increases the bradykinin concentration. Bradykinin itself can induce vasodilation which is good biological effects that enhance the antihypertensive effect of ACE inhibitors. However elevated levels of bradykinin will induce bronchoconstriction and annoying cough. Indeed, this is the most common side effects of ACE inhibitors. Angioedema is a rare side effect induced by elevated bradykinin levels. The important question for scientists was, how can we inhibit the renin-angiotensin system without interfering with angiotensin-converting enzyme? And luckily, they reached a solution. The angiotensin receptor blockers group, abbreviated as ARB, will inhibit the binding of angiotensin II to their cellular receptors. Thus, angiotensin II will not be able to induce vasoconstriction, and instead vasodilation is induced. Similarly, Angiotensin II will not be able to stimulate the secretion of aldosterone from adrenal cortex. As a result, more sodium and water will be excreted from circulation into the urine. And as expected, both vasodilation and decreased blood volume will decrease the blood pressure.
And the most important point is that angiotensin converting enzyme will not be inhibited. And will keep working as usual and bradykinin levels will not increase. So, cough is not a common side effect of ARB. Drug names in this group include Valsartan, Losartan, and Telmisartan. As you notice all the drugs end with suffix sartan. In chronological order, the oldest generation is ACE inhibitors, then angiotensin receptor blockers. And finally, the new generation, renin inhibitors such as aliskyrin. Renin inhibitors interfere with the action of renin enzymes. Thus, inhibit the production of angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2. And as expected decreased angiotensin 2 levels will leads to vasodilation and suppression of aldosterone secretion which results in increased sodium and water excretion. And as previous drug groups, vasodilation and decreased blood volume will decrease the elevated blood pressure. Like angiotensin receptor blockers, renin inhibitor does not interfere with angiotensin converting enzymes activities. Therefore cough is not a common side effect of renin inhibitor. There is only single drug in this group which is aliskyrin. With my best wishes, Dr. Jihad Hamayad.